mom and dad are almost here. <laughs> We're probably gonna take a walk with them and then go to dinner with the whole group. So I'll just take y'all along for a little montage tonight and we will really kick things off tomorrow when we have a full day. I'm looking forward to that. What size is that? Medium? That's a medium. That, can you hold that up to your face? Wow. It's roughly a pint. Wow. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm just kind of getting ready and I figured um, since we're gonna be hanging with people all day, it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to just like sit down and chat with y'all throughout the day. So I wanted to give you a little lowdown of the itinerary, the things that are for sure happening, but there's also a lot of flex time. And since my parents are really only here for two days, I wanna to try to maximize it as much as possible. But this morning should be fun. The boys, Jordy's brother-in-law, Steven, my dad and Jordy are all gonna go surf. My dad grew up surfing in Texas, which if you know Texas beaches, it's out here is different. I haven't seen him surf in my lifetime. So it's gonna be like kind of a refresher course and I'm really excited to watch because I think my dad is gonna just thrive. Um, we're gonna go to a spot called Buccaneer Beach and there's a little cafe on the beach. It's, well, across the street from the beach and they have breakfast, they have gluten-free things like acai bowls and breakfast tacos and all that. So that's the morning, but Jordy just texted me that it's really cold outside. Um, so we'll see if we actually wanna go sit and eat outside. But at some point this afternoon, I have to go pick up my pottery, which will be really fun. I can't wait to see those pieces. And tonight we are going to Wrench and Rodent, which is mostly a sushi spot. And it's just a very cool spot, all six of us again. And it's been fun to hang out with the six of us and, you know, just kind of like mix families and be like, all right, here we are, here we go. The thing that my brain hasn't quite comprehended yet is that tomorrow is my last full day here. And then I pack this place up the next day and get on the road and I drive. And I'll be driving from here to Tucson it's about six and a half hours. And then from Tucson to Marfa, about six and a half drive hours, and then Marfa to Austin. And at some point I need to find an air mattress because I will be getting to Austin the night before movers. So I will be just sleeping in my empty apartment. <laughs> so I need to find an air mattress. I tried to Amazon one to my apartment, but I think because the ice storm in Texas I think that Amazon is like super delayed because nothing would arrive until after move-in, like a couple days after. So it's wild to me that that's going to be happening in the next couple days. I will be leaving. I will be driving solo back to Texas and moving in. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I have a lot to think through that I've just procrastinated thinking about because I know I'm going to have like 20 hours of driving alone and I'll have plenty of time to think. Busy, busy, busy. But I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to dress in as warm of clothes as possible take out Max and see if my parents are up to maybe go pick them up and figure out surf and breakfast. And cheers to a good day. Excited to have you come along. So this is the Buccaneer Cafe. Cute little spot. They have a lot of gluten-free options and coffee and such. And it's across the street from where they'll be surfing. Okay, I got their avocado toast, which is gluten-free. And she asked me if I was celiac and then told the whole kitchen to watch out because I'm celiac. And look at the size of that. That's a very beautiful avocado toast. We got eggs and English muffin. Okay. I wanted to get French fries, but Padre would not let me get it. I, I wasn't. I didn't have a problem with the fries, just that it was only fries for breakfast. Which is great with me, but oh well. Get the hard fruit. How's that taco? So so big. It that is so good. That looks like a great flour tortilla. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody made this. Yeah. Someone made that with, with love. And there's radishes in here, which is like my favorite thing. Ooh. I may, we'll and see. And you got a smoothie? You smoothie. want to split this with me? Honestly, I'm good. Really? Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling about I'm getting I'm feeling kind of cold right now. This is damp? Th this thing is kind of, it's, it's more than damp. It's pretty wet. Yeah, this feels and like it's kind of, 40 degrees. It's kind of chilly. And it's going to be very tight to get on. Yeah, so. <laughs> but 
your guide is bringing over boards. Oh, he, he's awesome. He's I know, awesome. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's very That's patient. a cool one. Oh, they're the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway. All right. Well, I'll see you on the other side. I can't wait okay. to see you in a wetsuit. All right. Good All luck. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> he's coming. Don't worry. He's going to catch up. I have on my surf watching glasses and I can see clearly. Are you in awe? I am so in awe. So happy. It's beautiful. She whispered, but she said she's so in awe and she's so happy and it's beautiful. <laughs> Hey. Hey. How was the shred? <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I've been humbled. You, you, those were big. Very humbled. It's been a long time and I am out of shape and. No, hey. And uh, your boyfriend, he's pretty good and he's very patient and he's very, very kind to us older guys who are trying to act like him. And <laughs> anyway, but it was fun. He's going out for more right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Wasn't enough, I guess. Yeah, no, it's... He's, you crushed it. He, and he's amazing. Dad said he stayed warm in this, which means if he stayed warm, we're both, we run very yeah, cold. Yeah, she can do it. I can do it sometime yeah. if I have one of these, one of these seal suits. So I, I can see it here in the future. You're going to be out there just one day shredding it. She was a surfer girl. <laughs> she said... Surfer. See you later, girl. You're a lurker girl. We got here at 8.45 for breakfast and surf, and it's already noon. I know it. The time flies when you're on a beautiful beach, but I get to finally go pick up all of my pottery has been glazed and kilned, and I'm bringing mom and dad with me to see it and um, see meet Katie, and I'm really excited to see how they turned out. Also, Katie is, her, her studio space sold, so she has to leave, but um, I think I'm gonna try to buy some of her things also to support her, and because she has to get rid of her stuff, so. Ready to go to pottery? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Katie left it in a kiln so that we could see what it looks like. I spy three of mine and then all your like beautiful, <laughs> beautiful things. <Thank> you. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are some of my soy sauce dishes. Oh, I'm so excited. I did, I think five of these. So it has the raw outside and like the blue glaze. Sushi party. I know. That's what Jordy and I are doing for Thanksgiving. We're doing DIY sushi. I mean Thanksgiving. <laughs> Valentine's. We haven't planned to Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Some of my... Those are all mine. Those are, all yours. Those are literally all mine. Oh. It's this so was day cute. one. So it, she's... I love she's it. wonky. <gasps> Ooh. I did a matching little like espresso and latte and this is the espresso yeah. one. Oh my gosh. This one doesn't look like it was very happy with this. That's okay. See all the little bubbles? Let's see. Oh, at the bottom. Yeah. But you know what? When I'm drinking a latte out of it, people aren't going to see that. <laughs> They're just going to see the cool little blue rim. It like dripped. Yeah. It's honestly really cool. It is cool. And then this is the small, no, this is the bigger matcha bowl. This is the smaller one with the marbled clay. <laughs> Whoa, artsy, not what I intended. This is like a little half dip situation mug. I'm excited to see the little nesting bowl thing. More soy sauce dishes. This little ring dish that I tried a little experimental painting technique. Oh, that's the lid to the to This one. I was like, wait, where is it? So that goes together and the inside are glazed white. Yay, all of the. <laughs> We're still out and about adventuring, and I'm showing mom all the greatest hits. We're at, of course, Captain Helms, showing her the cute little shops. This is where I got that art print in the last vlog, but they have just like so many cute little home things. And then all like secondhand clothes too. So I've done some sip and thrifts here. But every time I'm in here, whew, man, I want it all. Look at how cute this cardigan is with, I don't even know what year this is, but like the big felt letter on it. I also found this for $18. I might have to try it on. I just, I just love it. It's so vintage collegiate. I found this jacket that I think would be really pretty on mom. It's like quilted kind of. I need to stop buying jackets. So let's see it on you. Ooh. 
Carolyn, that's nice. It's on the. It was on the thirty percent off rack. Is that thirty? Wait, fifty. <gasps> it's half off. Now mom's having me try this on and trying to convince me to buy it, but it's cute on her. But it's just cute. It's just a cute jacket. So cute. I just I love pockets like this. Um, while I'm here though, I'll try on the other cardigan too. And here's this, which is also really cute. Eighteen dollars vintage. This store gets me every time I come in. I need to stop coming in here. We're coming all the time. We're I know, often. I know, I know, I know. I don't, vintage things, I'm like more likely to impulse buy because like other things, I'm like, oh, I'll just keep my eye on it online, see if, think about it, see if I really want it. But I'm like, oh, this will be gone tomorrow. It's a one of a kind. It's, it's a one of a kind to our knowledge, at least pre to our practical ability to be able to find another one again. Right. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> I'm home for a quick little bit, just mostly doing max things before we're about to go to Moonlight Beach, which is a really cute beach that you can like build your own fires. And we're gonna do a sunset beach fire before dinner tonight, but Max is chasing his tail. Ah, I'm falling. I wanted to make like an espresso cup and a latte cup. I did two different clays. This one was not speckled, this one was, and we played around with a new glaze, which looks so pretty on the inside, but apparently it didn't like the speckled clay which can you see all the little bubbles in the glaze, which I think makes this not food safe because like bacteria can hide in all the little pockets, which is a bummer. Um, I don't know if there's another thing I can do to try to fill those in and like seal it almost to make it food safe because it's the perfect size for a latte cup. But, and I really wanted to have them as like a little set. They can even stack kind of, which is really cute. I think they're so, I love, love, love the way that that glaze just kind of like blended down into it. So I'm really proud. I'm really excited about all of them. I might do like a more up close little TikTok like review haul of all the things I made. <laughs> Maybe I'll film that tomorrow. I have been outside all day and I'm feeling like pretty icky, but um, it's fun because it's adventure. And okay, I gotta go like right now. Somehow we've managed to find six chairs. I ordered two of these before getting here and cause they were like on sale for like 15 bucks or something. And then my Airbnb had four. We got firewood and we're waiting for my parents. They went on a bike ride instead of napping, which is the most them thing ever. But this is where everybody's staying. It's called the green room. We like drove by it so many times and had no idea what it is, but it's this little hotel and they have surfboards for rent. They have fire pit back there, a hot tub, and it's like so much cheaper than a normal hotel. And it's very cute. So my parents are staying here. Mallory and Steven are staying here. When Jordy's parents visited early in the week, they stayed here. I tried to rent a room for filming and it fell through, but um, I, I want to try to like rent a room by the hour for filming because the owner's really chill. And he was like, yeah, sure. We can try to make that work. So anyways, in case you're ever visiting Oceanside, hot tip, save some money. Okay, we just got here right at sunset and it is the most beautiful thing. The camera never does it justice, but. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, okay. Good morning. It's my last day here, which is just sad, honestly. Mom and dad are on their way here. We're gonna probably like walk to breakfast, but I am torn. I just, it's like bittersweet because I'm excited to go home to Austin and move into my new apartment, but I don't wanna leave. But I don't wanna move here. At least I, I, want, I want more time in Austin. The main thing is I really love all the people I've met here. And I feel like, you know, I hung out with someone every single day being here, double date or whatever, and built real friendships. And I'm sad to leave that because I feel like that's special. And I really enjoy like the vibe of the community out here. So just kind of mixed feelings, mixed thoughts, but excited to spend the last day with mom and dad and Jordy some, it's a half work day for him. We have a lot of food plans. All of my plans always revolve around food. Are you surprised? 
Me t a m a Okay, we've walked to Communal, which y'all have seen before, I'm sure, because I've showed it several times. But there's a line, so I'm like just standing here looking at all the things. And look at these. I've never seen hand dipped candles this thin. And that would be so cute on a birthday cake. Oh, I think it's our time. Okay, our time to shine. More food. I got a gluten free salmon toast, but I didn't expect it to be sandwich style, which is cute. You got a, a English muffin situation? So did dad. You two have a lot of similarities. Yep. And we, we have a lot of similarities. Back home for a bit because I had to like upload some work things, and look how cute they are. Just outside, looking at the views. We walked about two miles. I wanted to show mom. We're kind of having like a mom morning and a dad afternoon. Dad, I don't know what accent that was, but morning, you know, coffee shop, cute lunch, walk around, show mom the shops. Afternoon, hike, watch surf, get pizza and beer. Very dad. So trying to like kind of plan the day to where everybody can do things that feel like them. But dad. Did a little shopping, got a couple shirts from Brixton. I wonder if he could do a little fashion show for us.、Um, let's go see. Haul with dad. Is this one we tried on and on the vlog? It is, yeah. You know what? I don't know if we tried it on on the vlog. On the vlog?、We? It's super cool because it's like a fleece material, kind of like a sweatshirt, but it's a button up. Looks very cool on、yeah. you. Yeah. And、you、it's、know. something like I would never buy. Yeah, but it's like a. Upscale alternative to just throwing on like a sweatshirt, you know? Yeah. So tell me what you think. I think you're like a hot dad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Be honest. No, what I do. do. Think? I think it's very cool.、Okay. You're, you're a very cool guy. All right, cool. You got, I'm feeling good then. You got corduroy. It's very cool. It,、yeah. You know what? You know how I love Nancy Drew things?、Mm -hmm. It feels Ned. Ned? Yeah. So Ned's and Nancy Drew? Who,、yeah. Who's Ned exactly? Her like sidekick. Okay. Yeah. Cool. The guy. And we're sitting here watching a little surfing. Can you see surf? Yeah, oh yeah, there's、yes. a bunch of surfing going on. Really? It's, oh yeah, there's this a couple of them. This is so、guys. cool. And the sailboats are out. Yeah. It's Saturday. Yeah,、no, this, this is me right here. Yeah, this is. Actually, I could just kind of hang here for, for a while. I know, I really could. You're like, no more shopping, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I could just be fine here. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm actually kind of thinking about doing? Is I'm thinking about. To not have to bring my big old camera bag and everything, making the rest of today a little montage、uh, so I can be present with my family, but then I don't have to just leave y'all out of today. I don't want to leave y'all out of today. Actually, you know what I haven't done yet today is this. Tastes like honey, guys. <laughs> but while I'm thinking about it, thank you again to Beekeepers Naturals for partnering with me on this video. Like I said, the lozenges are also really good. Always good to have on hand, just to have in your medicine cabinet. You never know when you're gonna wake up with a sore throat. And it's nice to have something that you can trust a bit more, that you can recognize the ingredients and then actually are like backed by nature and science. That's really nice.、Um, so I'll have my link and my code and all that good stuff in the description, but it's just Mikkel. Gets you that 20% off everything on the site. There's so many things that I still want to try from them because everything I have tried, I really liked. So, you know, give the discount across. All of them. And I love you, but I'm not gonna say bye quite yet because let's go spend the rest of the day together with maybe some good, a good little bop in the background. What do you say? Okay. Bye.